Welcome to AppChasers.com. Today we're taking a look at another great app by Riedel. Now, if you're familiar with Riedel, you know they make a really nice suite of productivity tools for the iPad and iPhone. Particularly on the iPad, Riedel's apps really make organizing and managing your files a breeze. Today we're going to take a look at PDF Converter, which takes files, whether they're Microsoft Word documents, Excel files, or any other type of file, uh, and it converts them into a PDF format right before your eyes. So you can see PDF Converter here in the iTunes App Store, but let's go ahead and open the app and we'll show you what it's all about. So we'll switch over here to PDF Converter. Now we don't have any documents here open yet within PDF Converter, but you can import documents uh, from a variety of sources. For, for example, if you have some text or images on your clipboard, you can conver convert them into a PDF. You can also convert your contacts on your device into a nicely formatted uh, PDF listing. We've also got photos that we can open up and convert to PDF, and we can uh, also import files from our email or different web pages that we might be looking at. So let's show you how to do some of those things. Now, the one of the uh, most common uses um, when opening a file is the iOS built-in open in uh, feature. So we'll show you that. Let's go over into our Documents app. Now, this is another app by Rito. Let's open up Documents here. Now, here we've got a Microsoft Word document that we want to convert using a PDF Converter. We want to make it into a PDF, so we'll go ahead and select it here. Now, on the left-hand side, we've got Open In down here at the bottom. So we'll click Open In. We'll type We'll touch on Open in PDF Converter. And it automatically opens up the document and starts to convert it right away. You can actually preview all the different pages here. Now, that's already converted, so it resides now in our Documents tab here. Talk 19 Final Complete. We can click on it. We can then, in the right-hand side, we can send it by mail, open it in another document, rename it, print it or delete it. So a few different options we can do here. Now let's say we've got some data here on our clipboard. So let's go ahead and get some information on our clipboard. Okay, so I've now copied some information using the iOS copy feature. And uh, if I just click on the clipboard here, it'll automatically go ahead and paste that in a nicely formatted way uh, into PDF Converter. We can then click Convert in the upper right hand corner and it puts it right into a PDF document for us, which we can then choose to do whatever we want with. Now the same thing happens when we want to convert a web page. Now you can see here on our left hand side we've got web pages and this is giving us instructions on how to convert from a web page. Now let's go over into a web page. For example, we've got appchasers.com open here. We can go and click on our share button in the upper left hand corner, click copy. Now that copies the web page address or the URL, which we can then go into PDF Converter, click clip, clipboard, and it brings in that entire website to be converted into a PDF. So we'll wait for that to happen. And you can see here if we click the convert button, it'll convert that into a really well formatted PDF with background uh, images as well as the different colors for the menu which is great so it's not just like printing uh, from a web page into a PDF on the computer which uh, oftentimes removes all the formatting here we've got all the formatting complete and a nice way that it's laid out here in PDF converter now the other way you can convert a PDF from a web page is really cool. If you just touch on the address bar here, and we're just going to go to the beginning of the address, and we're going to type in PDF HTTP semicolon backslash backslash www and then whatever URL you want, in this case App Chasers. Now when we do that and signify the PDF at the beginning of the URL, watch what happens. It's going to automatically open up PDF Converter 
and get that web page ready to convert. Now let's say you receive a file, for example, in this case, a Microsoft Excel file in your email, and you wanna convert it into a PDF. Well, PDF Converter can do that too. Just go into your email, touch and hold on the attachment, and say open in PDF Converter. Now watch what happens. It brings that file into the app and starts to convert it. Well, wait a minute here while it completes its conversion. Okay, there we go, it's all done. Now you can see this was a huge Excel file and it's gone ahead and converted it into a great layout here in PDF Converter. We can then uh, share it, print it, uh, open it in another app, whatever we wanna do. So if you have files that need to be converted into PDF format, we recommend PDF Converter. Also, if you have documents by Riedel already installed on your iPad, you can unlock the power of PDF Converter and convert documents without even leaving documents by Riedel. So if you like to do productive things with your iPad, we recommend PDF Converter.